So we are here with the artistic director of the Cheech, Maristel Fernandez. Could you tell us how does it feel finally to be opening the Cheech? Well, it's amazing. Um, we are so excited to have the community come through and see the beautiful artwork on view. Um, we're excited to activate the space through education programs. Um, we have a beautiful community exhibition featuring artists from the Inland Empire. We're excited to see them come through and see their work on the walls. So we're thrilled. We're beyond thrilled. We are all, uh, I think, operating on adrenaline and um, just excited. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything that you want people to know about the Cheech specifically that you want to the word, get the word out about? Um, certainly. Well, not only that we feature the Cheech Marine collection, um, that's obviously the foundation and the impetus for the, the, the creation of the center, but that we, that we will be featuring temporary exhibitions, that we are looking to expand our education programs and, and have studio classes and have um, be a, like a vibrant community center in many ways. I think that's a new function of, uh, that museums should embrace. Um, we want to feature multiple curatorial perspectives through nationally touring shows. We want to address the exhibitions gap, meaning that um, creating a pipeline of exhibitions from emerging artists all the way through to um, artists who are uh, established that are long overdue for major retrospectives. One such artist being Judith Hernandez, um, which will be featured in a major retrospective in 2024. So we have quite ambitious goals. Yes, and she brought that, that question. What, what else can we expect? What kind of activities do you have going on here? And also, do we have any Spanish language activities or anything for Spanish speakers? Absolutely. Everything will be translated. So we will have English and Spanish and Braille in some instances. Um, we do have classes in Spanish. Um, we have some in English as well and in Spanish. Um, we will have tours available, Spanish uh, speaking tours. and. Um, yeah, so we, we've tried to provide a, a wealth of experiences and opportunities for folks to engage with the work um, and the educational programming, both in English and in Spanish. Thank you. What about you? Is there any piece or any artist that stands out for you? Well, of course they all do. <laughs> um, Judith, why not? I mean, Judith, I'm working with her currently on this retrospective that'll happen in 2024. She was one of the members, uh, only female member of Los Four. Um, her work here, Quinceañera, Juarez Quinceañera, that it, uh, speaks to the femicides on the, along the border, uh, is both striking and beautiful and, and compelling, and um, I think is just scratching the surface to what we're hoping to show here at the museum in terms of featuring Chicana um, and Latina artists. That's great. So um, we talked a little bit with Cheech about the support and we know that Ofelio Valdez Yeager gave some support and you talked about Target. Can anybody else you want to talk about who gave backing for the, for the project? Sure. Well early on I know Altura Credit Union um, is uh, sponsored the community gallery which again I can't stress enough is a huge component of our curatorial program. Um, U.S. Bank has funded the um, sponsored the film program that we're uh, the video gallery upstairs which will be a rich uh, film program that we are uh, establishing here with uh, Chich Marin. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Um, Unidos which is a grassroots uh, organization of just folks from many sectors of the community that have rallied together to help support the Cheech. They've been instrumental in, 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 in their support and I think speaks to that grassroots effort. I mean we've had families that have been donating over five years to have their name on the donor wall so it's not just the big checks it's those little ones that came every month that speak to the level of support that we've had. So I've been very proud of all, all of the support that we've received and um, excited to have everyone come and see their efforts reflected in a, in a wonderful way. And then just could you tell us a little bit more about your career and your work here? Sure. Um, I've been working in museums for 17 years now. I um, started my career at the Triton Museum of Art in Santa Clara and um, began in the education program and then uh, moved into the curatorial department and ultimately was chief curator and deputy director there 
and um, and then now I'm here at the Cheech. Um, my uh, research has been in Chicana, Chicano, Chicanx art. Um, my curatorial projects, uh, although not solely in a feature, I have been. Um, my, intro, my curatorial interests are in Chicana and Chicano, Chicanx, Latinx art, and I am super excited to be at a center where we are showing this work every day. We are not just bringing it out every few years. We're committed to advancing the scholarship and the exhibition of this work every day. Cheech has a wonderful quote where he says, "We have this. He has this work because he's been speaking to museums because you don't." And I, and I feel like we're showing this every day, and we're showing this repeatedly and hopefully complicating what people think about when they think about Chicanx art. Thank you, did you want to add anything else? No, just come on out. <laughs> We'd love to see everybody here. What cycle will the exhibits be on roughly? Every two months, a new one? Oh, no, no, we have, um, the exhibition programming has been planned for two years out. I came on in August, and so I am, fulfilling those first two years, and they're rotating every six months. Every six months. Every six months, and we're looking to kind of add more to the rotation after those, after those two years. So we have a five-year five year plan right now for curatorial, um, and the, the runtime will be four to six months for exhibitions. Then what I was thinking is we could sit there and look at every six months, come back with you and whoever, covering uh, different aspects of it, that kind of a thing. We would, yes, we would love that, but we'd like folks to come out every day. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You'll see something new every day. <laughs> There's of such course. powerful work here. No, you're, certainly we can, we can um, come out. I, in December, we're rotating um, the permanent collection exhibition out. We would like to feature as many of the artists in the collection as possible in the inaugural year. So we, we have about 45, 46 in this first iteration, and we'll have a second iteration opening up at the end of the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you.